Hey guys, just a follow-up video on the uh, coolant level sensor out of my Peugeot. So in my last video I did some uh, diagnostics and showed how, how you could test these and um, pulled it apart and found the fault with with uh, the one that was in my vehicle. Now, I didn't actually put that in, in the car straight away. I, I, I'd swapped it out with one I picked up from the wreckers and a few days later I started having the same problem, the, the false warnings for low coolant level. So I've got here that that sensor, so the new sensor, and you can see I've, I've cut this one open as well and this one actually suffers from exactly the same issue as the, the last one. You can see there the probes have the fatigued solder joints, so um, I'll, I'll solder this one up as well and keep it as a spare. I've, I've put the repaired one in and that's been rock solid for, for about a week now. So that's the uh, repaired unit. You can see it's glued up. It seems to be holding up fine. That's definitely the issue with these sensors. Uh, just that bad solder joint there on the probe pins. So if you're having the same issue, I wouldn't recommend picking one up from the record because it'll have the same problem, either buy a new sensor or um, have a go at repairing your own by cutting it open and uh, touching up those solder joints. And then of course you just need to, to glue that one up. And uh, that's it. So thanks for watching, we'll uh, catch you next time.